G'day, and you join me on the edge of the picture postcard little harbour village of Glasson, or Glasson Dock as it's also known. And behind me here is Glasson Dock. Back in the day, ships would arrive from all around the country and overseas with supplies of coal and grain and wool and so on. And it would be unloaded onto narrow boats and larger boats, because this canal is quite deep. They would head off up the Glasson branch and join the Lancaster Canal. In its heyday, even though it's quite busy, there was little in the way of housing here and which is why even today its population measures around about 600. Yeah I used to play pool for my local pub at the time back in the late 80s when I was probably 20, 21 and the pub was in Chepstow, it was the Queen's Head Inn. Don't bother looking for it now because last time I was there, a few years ago, I think it's now a hairdresser's. But that's, that's the way of things now with pubs, isn't it? But yeah, this, uh, this pool team, I played for the B team, which was one below the A team. I mean, that was the stuff of, to be picked to play in the A team, well, you might as well have been Ronnie O'Sullivan, you know, as far as everyone else was concerned. But the B team, it was a good mix of players, and fortunately, I was chosen, and I'd win half of my games. When I wasn't playing in the pub league, um, I'd go to the pub about three nights a week and practice pull. And I don't know what it's like nowadays, but in those days you chalked your name up on the board and you waited your turn and it was always the winner stays on unless the winner conceded and you played the winner of the previous game. Now I think I'd been watching Alex Higgins in the snooker probably the night before. Now convention sort of says when you're playing your shot you get down to your shot and everything is still apart from this part of your arm and you like that. It's like a pendulum. But I noticed with Alex Higgins, he'd be all over the place and he'd play the shot and he'd flick this way and that and twitch and, and he'd be potting incredible shots. So I went there and I thought, right, I'll give it a try. And it was my turn, put my money in the table and I broke off. But instead of nice and steady, I moved my whole body and I went, woof, like that and I moved with the cue and I broke and I potted some balls which you know it's a 50-50 chance sometimes you pot balls off the break and I picked my colour yellow red whatever it was and I started potting balls every time woof like that and before I knew it I'd won the game and of course I've won so I stay on Next person comes along, game gets going, whoom, I'm still whoom, moving with the cue. And whoom, whoom, balls are flying in left, right and centre, doubles, triples, and that's it, another game. And it went on and on, seven ball clearances, on and on. My opponent might have potted six of their balls and they've just got one more on the black to go and I get in, whoom, clear up. Unbelievable. And it went on and on and on. And it was 16, 17 games on the trot. And I thought, this is getting it's not embarrassing. People were looking quite fed up. Um, I mean, first of all, when you start winning, you think, whoa, great, I'm winning. Then you get used to it. And then it just starts feeling uncomfortable. So I conceded after 17, 18 frames. I went up to the bar. And there's a guy sat there who I've played against before a few times. 
and he just shook his head and he said Kevin he says I've never seen anything like it he said you played some incredible pool and I'm just like I've no idea what's happened I just play this particular way I'd won a few pints of beer as well so I had some of those some of them I shared out and I went home a couple of days later I thought right I'll give it another go so I went back and did exactly the same thing again just playing the shots swinging but totally useless I couldn't pot for toffee and it never happened again every now and again I've had a go on a pool table utter tosh